FBI team investigating claims from consumers who say that they did not get their money's worth at an auto auction. The Attorney General's office is investigating the auction company and the Better Business Bureau, issuing a warning. Consumer investigator Jason Knowles joining us tonight with the latest. It's not every day the BBB issues warnings on companies, but this is the second one within two years for the first Marshall Auto Auction. Some customers complain of alleged extra fees, and others say that they weren't able to inspect vehicles before handing over the cash. This is the windshield crack. Alex Perea voluntarily agreed to accept this 2010 Nissan Rogue after ending a heated dispute with the first Marshall Auto Auction in South Suburban Harvey. It is, you know, a uh, very intimidating. Perea says it all started in August with a bid on a different vehicle, this 2008 Nissan Rogue. In this filed complaint with the Attorney General, he says when his bid was accepted, he was brought into an office with armed security guards. He says he was not allowed to inspect the mileage or test drive the SUV. Took me back to the office, and they demanded me to give them $1,000 deposit. So I give them that $1,000 in cash. Everything's in cash. And right there, they said, this is non-refundable. Then Perea says after hours in that room, he paid in full, then saw the bill of sale. It says the purchase price was 4000 and with taxes and fees, the total was $5,378. Perea says after the purchase, he discovered that the vehicle had 231,000 miles on it. I was really, I won't know crying because the money that I got to buy my daughter's car, I cashed my 401k. He filed complaints with the BBB, the Illinois Attorney General, and wrote letters to lawmakers. And seven months later, First Marshall agreed to give him that replacement SUV, saying they believe Perea was satisfied. It has 160,000 miles. Perea points to Kelly's Blue Book estimates of both cars being far below the 5,400 he paid. The I team found that the Illinois Attorney General has an open investigation into the first Marshall auto auction. Lisa Madigan's office says it's received 39 complaints in 2017 and 14 so far this year. The BBB just issued this warning today on the company, which has an F grade. We had 61 complaints filed in the last three years. 31 of them, they chose to ignore the Better Business Bureau. First Marshall says some of those complaints may have been solved directly with consumers and that the number of complaints are small compared to the 6,000 cars it sold during the same time period. The complaints allege that the vehicles either broke down as soon as they left the uh, auction or soon thereafter. In 2016, when the BBB issued its first alert, this man, who said he was a security guard, told me to leave. And in July of 2014, the I-Team investigated complaints at a now-closed business with a similar brochure several feet away. In an email this week, the company's lawyer told me to not enter the premises of the business, then added that the business discloses all auction fees and costs in writing through a bidder's paddle terms of auction document, which each customer receives and must sign for prior to entry into the auction and prior to bidding on any vehicle. And that same form notifies customers that all sales are final and that any down payment paid by the customer is non-refundable. The company's attorney also says test drives are not permitted for insurance and safety reasons. If they don't see the mileage, don't buy a car. If you're buying used, experts say you should always first test drive a car and take it to a mechanic. You may consider paying a small fee to run a Carfax or auto check report. There's also a new, relatively new Illinois law. It is limited, but a mandated warranty to protect consumers. First Marshall says it complies with that law, but since most of their vehicles are over 150,000 miles, they're usually exempt. Now we have more information on that law and how you can qualify for it on our website, abc7chicago.com, plus more tips if you're buying a used car. Okay, good to know. Jason, thank you.